What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to my new Let's Play for Until Dawn for the PS4, a game that I am told combines uh, a slasher movie with, like, heavy rain-style controls with, like, kind of a telltale game story system. But I have kept myself pretty in the dark about it since uh, they announced it, more or less. I've seen, you know, a trailer or two. So, as this is a horror game, uh, I'm going to be putting on my headphones so I can hear it properly and react to it properly. Uh, I'm going to turn on the subtitles. Uh, I don't know what sidebar text is. Overlay text for written material. No, I'm not, not going to do that. Uh, and yeah, we're going to jump into new story. Uh, I know pretty much nothing about this game outside of the fact of what it is in itself. Uh, and this is a blind playthrough, so let's go, shall we? Also, a movie with Ashton Kutcher. I'm gonna resist quoting Ian Malcolm here. So, that is very much in the vein of the Telltale ad adventure games, where your choices supposedly matter. But in this game, I've heard that the permutations are multiple. So, my playthrough is not going to be like your playthrough. Therefore, doing a blind playthrough uh, is significant. Yep. So, I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes, just letting, just letting you know. Uh, I'm going to pay attention here, and I'm going to choose my actions carefully. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, hi there! Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's caught, Fred doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to turn out well. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. I'm here to smoke weed and have sex. It's a horror movie. Am I now in the game? I'm now in the game. Okay. Let us see uh, what we can interact with. This guy seems drunk. I don't think I can interact with him. I want a kitchen knife. I want a baseball bat. I want something that's going to... Bad things are going to happen here. It's bad. Oh, there's a... Alright, X. R2. What is that? The, the Order 1886? Jesus. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Some Netflix and chill. Uh. Yeah, this is. 
How can you sleep like that? Like, who... How drunk do you have to be to fall asleep like that? Like, that looks so fucking uncomfortable. Alright, let's do another one of these. So this, 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 this is the same note. That's the same note. I'm an idiot. I did the same thing twice. I'm surprised the game let, let me do that. Alright, let them keep sleeping. Fireplace. This whole fixed camera angle thing is a little bit weird. Alright, so... Can I go over here? Nope. I already interacted with the note on the table. There are people under the bed. All right, this is actual nudity. I'm not to blur it out so I don't get age gated for this video. What? Oh my god! A selfie stick. All right, you all need to die now. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. It's all got out of Just a stupid prank. Dude with the selfie stick has to die. The right stick to choose. What am I choosing? Oh. Uh, wake Josh. Find others. Where do I... Alright. Josh. Josh. Wake up, you drunken fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. It's the girl who just ran outside. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Dad. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Action buttons. Oh, shit. Square. Footprints. Oh shit. No, don't run into the deer. What are you? Status update? Anna. Oh, flashlight. I'm like, status update. It's the last thing you'd be worried about. Okay, I can, I can kind of move that around like that. Got it. Got it. Okay. I don't know of any cell phone that's got that fucking bright of a light. I'm just saying. That seems... That seems like some next-gen shit right there. I don't want to walk faster. I want to be out here in the first place. Seriously. Hello? Hello? Shouldn't you be calling her on her phone? Does she not have a phone? Ancient Indian burial ground.
death totem. Ah, uh, the events of the past. Alright. The possible death of the person who finds it. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not they come true. So if I hit inspect there, it's going to show me that again. Her falling off a rock. Down on the mountain by Beth. Got it. Back. Now, wouldn't you immediately be freaked the fuck out by that? Or do only I as the player see that? I know that, uh... I've been told that you can s actually save all the characters in this game by playing it the right way, but this is a blind playthrough, so I don't expect that. All I'm saying. Oh. What the? the Flamethrower? What the fuck was that? Nobody out here in the park with a fucking flamethrower in this goddamn blizzard. Jeez. No coat. Uh, is that the Predator? Hannah, Don't fall off the cliff! <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's bad. Or? What? Um. Why is there a flamethrower? Hold on. Oh hi. Fuck off, we're letting go. Well, lost one already. Lost two. Okay, well, that's a good start to this game. Uh, that's a good start. I think he would have. I mean, he's got a flamethrower, so. I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game. Wait. Every single choice will Why are you breaking the fourth wall on me, bro? The hell. Around you. Oh. You're getting so goddamn close. So, you have committed to commence with this game. Yeah, I got a controller in my hand. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. Nah. I mean, your face, but... Sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, Charles. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. This is not what I was expecting. Am I the killer? Am I playing as the killer here? Ah, oh, it's Jeepers Creepers. It's a scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, I feel like Children of the Corn and Jeepers Creepers, so I'm going to say uneasy. Honesty is good. 
What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Uh, of the Scarecrow. He has fear toxins. He fights Batman. Let's see. The Scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. I mean, is there internet? Because, uh, no internet, no sale. Just Why saying. Why not? Uh, I'd be lonely. With no internet. On the farm. Line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Perhaps you should back the fuck up. Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. <laughs> What kind of tea is that? Can I have some? My throat hurts. Ah, late title card. Until dawn. And a song. I'm sure that won't get content ID flagged at all. Yeah, that's usually how that happens. Ah, alright, so. That's probably going to wrap up the first episode here of this new, brand new Let's Play that I'm doing for Until Dawn. Uh, the plan is to play through the, the entire game on a blind playthrough. Uh, but I'm gonna record a bunch of episodes in a row, uh, because obviously I want to get it back to Gamefly as soon as possible, uh, because there are other games coming out this fall, like a whole lot of them. So, that's the plan, is to kind of get through this, uh, so, unfortunately that, that means that if you have any suggestions, I'm not gonna be able to really, uh, respond to them, or, you know, take your advice on stuff, because I'm just gonna record, like, four or five a day, or, you know, as long as my voice holds out. Etc. Etc. Uh, that's a creepy ass baby. All right, fantastic. Maybe I'll just take this part of the audio and kind of lower it down so I don't get hit by the content ID. But I don't actually know. That's why I'm talking a lot here because I know that that's one way. And obviously, I have headphones on. So when you have headphones on, I'm using the direct game feed audio, not the audio from my TV. I Meaning it's gonna be a lot easier for the. Uh, Robots to pick up. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the ground, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, it's a douchebag right. YouTuber, isn't it? Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... Why would you go back? I just want you all to Why know. Why would you go back? Um, it means... It means so much to me that we're doing this. And that... Uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For... 
for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, alright? That's a weird yes. turn of phrase, even for what seems to be a college frat boy. Just, you know, after the death of his sisters, or whatever else. Uh... That guy seems to be like he's from the Clock Tower game series. Seriously. Clock Tower 3 specifically, but... Perhaps that's just me, I don't know. Anyway, that's a spider thing, that's a creepy horse. And that's a chapel. And things are happening, and... Uh, as soon as I get back into control of the game, I'm gonna be like, that's gonna be, you know... Where I cut, and then I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, but obviously I'm gonna cut and then just hit record again, uh, as I'm sitting here. So, you're gonna notice it's gonna get darker in this room, uh, as the day goes on here. It's about four o'clock now. So. I'm gonna try to see how long my... Memento Mori! Ten hours until dawn. That's not creepy at all. I'm in control. I'm not in control. Oh, hey! Hi, I remember you. Like, this seems to be poor decision-making on a lot of these people's parts. Sam! Alright, well. Hello? We'll let it go until I get control again. That seems to be a checkpoint, but... Alright, yes, I am back in control. So, that being said, uh, my name is Taxlug. This is my Let's Play of Until Dawn. I'll see you tomorrow with more Until Dawn. And until then, I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out!